Welcome back to Venti Views, where we make amazing content for amazing people, and that amazing people is you, yes you, the viewer. And those sneaky folks over at Adobe came out with a brand new update for Lightroom that's pretty freaking dope. So let's dive in and talk about some of these new features. Starting with photo number one, if we go over here to our editing and we go to our presets, you will see that we have some adaptive options here. So I'm going to go to adaptive sky. And if we scroll through here, we can see that it's only affecting the sky in our image. Now, me personally in this one, I really like the dark drama. Now, if we select it, we can see it brings up the slider and we can actually adjust how much dark drama is in our photo. I think probably around 70% is a good option for this photo. So let's look at another example here. So we have this photo I took of the lunar eclipse a few weeks ago. We got the plane in the sky, in the moon there. So if I go over here to edit and I go to presets and we go to adaptive sky, we can see that it changes just the sky for us automatically. These are basically presets for the artificial mass that it chooses for you. In this case, the sky. So I'm adding a preset only to the sky, just to kind of clear that up. And I think I actually liked sunset in this one because it was actually around sunset. So there's our before, there's our after. I'll click on it. I think I kind of want to bring it down maybe to like, like 63%. I think that looks pretty good. So here's our before, here's our after. Kind of gets rid of the green haze that's always here in LA. So that looks pretty nice. So let's move on to our next photo here. Now this is Rose, one of my models. We're gonna go over here to our edit. We're gonna go over to our presets. And obviously there isn't really a sky in this image. We're going to go to adaptive subject. Now it's going to automatically select just Rose in this image and choose a different options for me. So I can do soft, cool soft, vibrant glow, Glow is too much. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, which one do I like? I like the soft one. It's so very subtle, but it just softens our skin. And you can actually, we can go all the way on this one. Maybe I'll keep it at 173%. So let's zoom in here and we can see our before and our after. Very subtle, but it just kind of softens her up and gives her a nice little glow about her, which is really, really nice. Now, we can also compare two images side by side. If we go down here to our film strip button and we go over here to this two little rectangles next to each other and click that. So we have photo over here and we have this photo right here. So now I can now compare them side by side. I can swap them if I want to. So if I'm editing a lot of photos and I wanna compare one next to the other to try and make them match a little bit better, this is a great option for that. Now we can also take this a step farther and go down here to our parallel and what that does is when I zoom in on one image, it will zoom in and move around on the other. So that's our parallel. And if you're comparing two landscapes, you could do it this way as well. Here's our two portraits and our two landscapes. And of course you can swap them that way as well. Now, continuing on here, I'm gonna go to our next image, which is a photo, aerial photo of a rock in Big Sur. And I've already kind of selected this mask. I've made a few adjustments. I'm just gonna make some really just very obvious adjustments just so you can kind of see what's going to happen here so obviously the rock is a little too much but there we go that's what we've done so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our mask we're going to right click and we're going to go to copy and i'm going to go to a completely separate image that does not have a giant rock the subject is obviously these two gentlemen right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this masking option right here it is important that you do that as step one you go up here to photo and you go to paste mask. Now, what it did is it took the settings from the mask of the Big Sur photo, reanalyzed this photo and realized that these two gentlemen are the subject and applied those same settings from that previous mask on the Big Sur photo onto these two gentlemen. So let me show you how that looks. So as we can see here, our gentlemen are now basically the same color and sharpness and clarity as that rock was in Big Sur. So you can now copy and paste mask settings, which is great because I do a lot of portrait work. So to be able to apply all these masks across all photos, a uh, game changer. Now let's talk about the coolest feature, I think, in my opinion, to Lightroom that they added is you can now edit videos. So I have a video here from my iPhone and I'm just gonna play that. Land. 
Cool, so it looks really great. The only thing that you need to consider with this is when you're recording on an iPhone and you have HDR selected in your camera settings, it records your video in an HLG file format, which isn't really compatible with Instagram or Lightroom. You would need something like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere and convert it from HLG to Rec. 709 for it to look properly exposed. However, there are some things that we can do with this video right here to make it look less overexposed and make it look a little bit more dramatic and cool. So let's go over that now. So we'll go up here to our edit tab and you can see that our highlights are really, really bright. There's not a lot of contrast. So I'm gonna bring our highlights down and our whites down and then I'm just gonna pump up the contrast here probably bring the shadows down and the blacks a little bit. There's not really too much we can do with the colors other than saturate them and kind of make them brighter. I think I want the yellows to be a little bit more towards the red. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. The green, we can make the green really, really pop if we want to on that moss. Maybe bring the luminance down a little bit. I can bring the temperature, maybe like right there looks a little bit better. And I can bring the vibrancy and the saturation up, maybe not that much, but I think that looks pretty solid. So this is what we started with. This is what we have so far. We can also go up here and we can trim and crop the video as well. So if I wanna stop the video maybe right about here, you can do that as well. So now we can play that with our color editing and our quick trim. And we can also take the audio out as well. So now I can play it and there's no audio. You can also rotate, flip, all that stuff. So if I wanna flip it the other way or even flip it upside down, you can do things like that as well. So that's all I have for you. Really cool features added in Lightroom. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.